bam bam ba down. Theme song. Yeah, tear it up, Bard. Tear it up, dude. I would like to dedicate the next song to anyone who buys me a drink. Hoo boo, gross. He he does. He's oh, he's a well, he's distressed. Um, he's pretty happy. The prices are too high, but man, does he ever play the slaps? He plays the hits. Now there's a spot somewhere where I can find out what songs he plays, or there used to be at least. What does he need? He needs a toilet and to go to sleep. Okay. Where are his songs? Where's his song list? Oh, cool. What's this? Set priority. Oh, in terms of learning skills. Okay. All right. So he's getting better, except for his dexterity. He's very clumsy. Hoo-boo gross. More like hoo-boo. Hoo-boo clumsy. More like clumsy gross. That works better. I should have said that. All right. I'm going to go back. I'm going to start the episode again. Um, welcome to Crossroads Inn. Welcome back to the Hair of the Dog Tavern. We have plans for this tavern in the future. Right now, I want to get going on the next floor. The kind of, I don't know if I'd call it a surprise that I was waiting on. Um, but again, this is just one of my one of my plans with this, with Crossroads. Whoops, how do I get the, there we go. <laughs> this is one of my plans with Crossroads coming up. Oh no. We got another bug person. Another infestation. No. Okay, slow down time. This is all moving too fast for me. Uh, remove the bugs and remove him. Now speed up time. Where's my thug? Or can this dog? Can he, look at that dog. Whoa. Look at this boy. Oh. Well, he's not messing around. Did we name this one? No, we didn't name this one. This one shall be uh, Bashkar, one of our regular viewers. Uh, who I got to meet on the stream the other day. You are now this dog. <laughs> and uh, you're doing great. Are you happy here? No, you're not happy. We're working on it. Oh, Bashkar might be running away right now. Sorry that I picked, I gave you a dog. Okay, no, he's hanging around for a bit. We'll make sure he gets petted to did. And, uh, oh, Rakesh ran away. <laughs> this is what happens when you run the tavern and you're trying to make money. All right, did we kick that person out? The person's kicked out and the bugs are gone. Okay, good. All right, I would like to turn this room into an adventurer room. I would like to get some adventurers and I would like to get going on that. To that end, that means I wanna keep working on this room up here. What else is there to do in this room, you ask? I mean, it looks great. Why, thank you, audience member who thinks it looks great, even though it's only four stars. <gasps> Why is it only four stars? Did I just give up on making this room good? I probably did. I think if we go back a couple episodes, you're going to find me just being like, and screw it. And then I ended the episode. I was just like, nah, who cares? Who cares, I said, and then ended the episode. So let's put a few well-placed banner spams around. Like this spot here could have a banner. Where's the, why does the light not to, okay, anyway. That could have a banner there. That It doesn't look as symmetrical, but it also kind of never did, you know? And uh, we could put one here, but let's see if we need it even. Okay, how about that? Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe I need to put down like just a bunch of paintings. There's a lot of paintings here already, so why are we, uh, you know, what's going on here? Give me that five stars, come on. All right, fine. Well, um, we're not wasting time down here though. I mean, obviously, we also need to get it cleaned. Let's let's make this high priority because we have hired some staff recently in the last uh, episode that are just primarily cleaners. So surely they can get around to this room, and of course we've got this gambling parlor. Which I've got. There's a couple of people gambling. Let's see if we're making any money off gambling. Gambling income zero. I'm. I know we have some tin horns. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, those are the guests. So don't do that, Peter. You're an idiot. I mean, solid content. You don't know my name. Nobody will ever know my name. It's a secret. We've got, we have so many tin horns. What's going on here? Are you actually a tin horn though? Or are you a profession? What's your profession? <laughs> Illnesses, fortune, okay, good. Active statuses, you're fine. You're, but I don't know if you're a tin horn or not, but you, <gasps> gambling low. Who are you? Oh, because you're just like a thug or something, probably. You're not even a tin horn. These are my thugs. Why can't I see what your profession is? What's your profession? Should we make your gambling high? 
How do I know if you're a tin horn or a thug? Somebody help me now. Okay, great. Uh, tiredness day out. This guy has more stats going on, at least. Uh, he's a... Again, we don't know, but I think he, if he was the last guy I hired, I know I hired a tin horn. Let's make his gambling high. Entertaining can stay there. Stealing. Let's make watch off and gossip off. I just focus on gambling. And let's see if there's any new tin horns to hire. A crook. No tin horns. Guys, I'm trying to run a gambling parlor here. Where are they all the... Oh, yeah, and also they can't be thugs. Because thugs is a different category. So then what the heck even? These are all my tin horns. These are all my thugs. Okay, fine. But, again... What are you guys doing? Why is your gambling on low? Why do I... Why have I this set up? Maybe you just came like that. I don't remember setting you up like that. So let's get your gambling to high. Let's turn your gossip off. Entertainment's fine. Stealing medium. Watch off. Okay? Now let's do this one here. Same thing. Gambling high. He's got nothing. So we're turning gossip off. Let's turn it all off. Just gamble. Gareth, honestly, you're a bit of a drunk. You're a bit, uh, you know, chaotic. So I'm just giving you one job. Just, just gamble, please. Just take money from people. That's all I'm after. That, that is your profession, okay? Maybe they can't get to the tables. Is that the problem? I could um, test by deleting one of the tables. Uh, which, which one would I delete? I don't know. But look, it, it, people can get around behind the chairs. I think you can get to that spot at least. So they should be able to get to at least one of these gambling spots. Um, it, leave in the comments below if you know uh, what I'm doing wrong with my gamble parlor. With my gambling position here. Because, I mean, I think that looks great. You got all them statues of all the naked folks. You've got the, the cool lanterns that make it look like we're in, like, a sort of a medieval uh, comedy club. It's all set up for success. So why is my why is my gambling income a zero? Or maybe I'm really bad. Like, maybe everyone wins. Then it should be minus, I guess. I don't know. Um, also, we're missing candles in, I guess, these? I think I just don't have enough staff at this point. Potentially. Uh, because nobody seems to be caring about this room. Is it set right? Yeah, it's a, it's a, the great Gamsbly. It's set, it's set right. Drink, gamble, smoke, start a fight. You can do all the cool stuff that you guys want to do. Medium priority, normal. Okay, oh, interesting. Oh, oops, oops. Permitted, oh, interesting. Yeah, right, so I can permit everybody in this room or not everybody. So what I could do eventually is I could... Well, I don't know how the permissions work, because if I if I say, like, oh, you can't work in this main hall, well, then does that mean they're not even allowed in the main hall? Because then they'll not be able to get anywhere. I guess they could go this stairwell here. Yeah, no, they can't get outside or... Well, they can't get to the front, at least. So that actually might work, to be honest. If I just don't permit certain people in the main hall, then they'll never be able to go into this public-facing space. They'll only ever be in the staff lodge or in the back rooms. So that actually could work. Oh, no, wait, no, it can't. Wait, let me think here. No, it can't work because if they are only stuck to the back rooms, then they can't go through here and get upstairs. And that's because I designed it. Like how an idiot designs it. <laughs> All right. So clearly there's some problems in this room here. It looks like this room is getting taken care of okay, except for the cleanliness. But people are renting the rooms, which means they're also getting like taken care of. Here's a person here who's coming in. He's going to make the bed. So yeah, this room is very accessible and dealt with. This one, not so much. Maybe it's this middle one causing problems. Delete it. Nope. Maybe it's something downstairs that needs candles. Nope. It's something here that needs candles. And they can't get accessed. I just think they can't access... Ooh. I think they can't access these um, lanterns, which I really liked. I love having those lanterns over it, but what if they're over it? Uh, they... Oh, there they are. What if they're lanterns, but they're a bit more like on the corners, you know? And then there's one like here. It's like those feel more accessible and it still looks kind of nice. And, oh, are, or is the table missing can? Oh, the big counter is missing candles. Once again, I'm a fool. But I don't know why the big counter, probably for these little things. So somebody bring, can they even get back there? Maybe that's the problem. 
Uh, let's uh, move these somewhere. Let's put it... What if we put it right to... Okay, let's move this plant over here for now. Let's put this like... I don't know. Does that look stupid? It looks kind of okay. It's like a tavern. And then the idea being like, hey, don't... You know, the staff are watching it. So they're like, don't touch that. Don't touch that right now. We're, we're trying to serve you. That's for us. That's for staff only. Okay. Then if I move that over there, maybe that's enough room to get back there. Okay. So maybe that was the problem, at least with this counter. Come on. Go behind the counter. No. Where are you going? Who are you? Oh, you're just a person. Oh, no. She wants service at this table. And this guy's gambling, which is great. But again, not sure if I'm making any money off him. Okay. We got to focus up. We got to get this room going. It's, we're not worried about all that other crap. I mean, I am, but I'll do that on my own time, you know? What I need is uh, <laughs> the same room up top here, the same exact size. And it's going to be a uh, guest room. And we put it in because we remembered from last time. So wait, one, two, three, four. One, two. I mean, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, okay, good. There we go. So we remember from last time that we have to do that first. So there is our two. This is going to be, uh, believe it or not, a two-story um, sleeping quarters. All right. So uh, what we need to do now is place the stairs. And this is going to cause us a bit of uh, moving around. Maybe we have some different stairs in here, though. Like those? Maybe they're rickety? Nah, that's dumb. Those are kind of nice. Those ones are good. You know what? There's something about these ones. I don't know why. There's something about them that just seems like they fit the style. They're kind of cozy in the right way. So let's do that. Let's move these banisters out of the way. And let's get these stairs in. Come on, baby. It's stair time. Fit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I win. <laughs> I guess that's like, because that's the thing. I don't really play games that you can just like win. You know what I mean? So sometimes I have to look for the little victories in life that go, yes, I've won. And check this out. I'm going to put this here to kind of like my theory, right? To kind of bl block their path a little bit. And then maybe there's like a one of these two, an Alembic. I think that's what this is, right? Yeah, an Alembic. Yeah, come on. You fit right there. Beautiful. So, so that way people kind of have to go around to get to the stairs. And then maybe there's like a flower pot right here. Can I put that on there? Come on. Let me, let me. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't want to fit. That's fine. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I win again. Yes, I'm, so, I'm winning this game. Okay, so that way, in theory, people will path around it and they won't get stuck behind the stairs, in theory. But also, I kind of like it. It looks medieval. It looks like a little bit of clutter in a good way. So this is good. Um, I haven't seen this bed getting used. So I'm going to kind of tilt it a bit and get it a little closer to the wall. Like so. Um, I think that, you know, because maybe, you know, it's it's kind of tough to get there in the first place. So let's make it e easier once you get there. All right, there we go. So this is step, the, the next step. Now... Uh, I want to have this be the second floor. Yes, of course. We've said that already. But check this out. Let's see. What's our flooring? It's kind of this like more red, which I think that is what that is. Okay, good. Let's get some windows in here before we get ahead of ourselves. Should we make them match? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? And then we'll get a couple of windows. Wait, hang on. I've got a plan here for another room. So uh, we could put one window there and one window here. Okay, because uh, I have I have some plans. As you can see, I've, I've left room for another staircase right here. And I've got, like I've said a million times already, I've got plans. All right, so this is the second floor of our um, dorm room. Now it's not actually going to act like one room, but I kind of want it to be sort of lofty. And to do that, all right, here we go. Wish me luck. I am going to carefully remove these four spots to create a loft scenario. All right. 
Now I need to think about a couple of things. First, let's get the shape of it with my trusty banister life. Okay, so we've banistered this off. Obviously, we're banistering this off because we don't want our guests to uh, ooh, uh, tumble, you know, into their deaths. So we're trying to keep the uh, death count on this place low. But also, I didn't want to just make another big square. I want people to be able to look down and kind of see what's going on. Now, here, we need to move this over because now it makes less sense. Whoa, what, what key was that? I think if you hit home, it takes you to your front door. That's cool. Okay, good to know. Good to know, but also no thanks. So that looks like it's still hung on the ceiling. Hung on the ceiling with care. Um, I'd love to hang a banister or like a can chandelier here, but I don't think they have like ladders uh, in this game. <laughs> they, can, they won't be able to get candles there. Now, um, this is this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking on this second floor or the first floor rather. This is almost where I need to put the. You know what I mean? This is almost where I need to put this little sitting area. And I think that's actually possible. So here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I can't move it yet. Ooh, that boils my blood. But I can move these ones. So we're going to move these ones upstairs. And just to create a little space so we can design later uh, down here. I can move the fire pit over. And then this little area. And then now they're looking down on the fireplace. And then maybe the heat from the fireplace comes up in my fantasy world of that's how I think it would be. All right. We don't even need that right now okay so all we need to do is clear out this guy then we can put in two beds here so it is lowering the total number of beds that we can have down here um but that's okay because we're gonna let's try to get some let's stuff some beds up here so obviously i think we need a bed Ooh. oh yeah let's do that okay fine we'll let it build for a second build that room please do have to wait for somebody to like come physically do it? No. Okay. Now we get back into bed territory. Bed. Oh, turn that off. There we go. So let's do some more of these fancy beds because we're going for that score. That looks pretty nice. Couldn't we get a little chest right there? Isn't there one that would fit? <laughs> it's this one. And it and it, and the answer is yes. By the way. Okay. So we're gonna do this. We get a little rug in here. Now, here's the here's the question though. Or do we make this one sort of green beds up here? Yeah, let's change up the style. Let's do that. Let's do some green beds. Um, and that lets me do something else that's interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna actually put this bed back down here because we removed these two over here. So I don't want to delete that yet. Okay, we'll keep this here. But that allows me to do this. <laughs> I can take these beds from this floor. Not that I'm trying to save money, you know, like I'm loaded, but also we might as well try to save some money. Should we just have three people sit? <laughs> no. Uh, that is a good question, though. What is the orientation of these beds? Put that in the corner, like so. Then we could have another little two bed situation right there. Good Lord, these people are living, these sleeping in style. Or I could do this. No, because I kind of want them to be able to look over at it. And again, this is another thing that I've learned about this game. Is like, you don't really need like 6,000 beds. Because you're never going to have that many people staying. Um, maybe we have this section here. Has some like... You know what I mean? Like these people aren't doing as well. In life. <laughs> so they have to sleep right near the banister. Which, I don't know if I'd mind that. Like, sleeping right here, and then you can, like, look down the stairs on your side. You can roll on your side, look down the stairs. Or you can roll over here, and you can look at the which will be the fireplace eventually. Okay, so that feels good. Let's do, like, a one-chest situation for here. And let's figure out how we're going to decorate this. Because we also need this room to have all of its own things. It's not actually a continuation of this room. So it's going to need a potty. It's going to need one of these. This is going to just be in the corner. You can just like take a whiz and look down at the fireplace. So that's kind of nice. Then I think we need like, just like, you know, do you know what I mean? For some, like an upper deck for people to like chill. And then maybe a rug there as well. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen me play this game before. 
but I roll heavy with rugs. <gasps> yes, right, I forgot about the bearskin rug. It's outlaw themed though. That could cause problems, but it's super fancy. I think this needs to be, honestly, I think that needs to be in front of the fireplace. We're working on that, that's coming up. So for now, they could just have this rug here. And then we can move these chairs a little closer together. Put a little table here, some kind of table. What do we have for, uh, not a desk maybe, but a decorative, where's that decorative table? That'll look nice. Now the real question is, because I've never, I haven't looked at this in a while. What is, what are the recommendation, or the re recommendations, the requirements for one of these rooms? You know, candle situation right here, of course, right near the decorative table. Maybe we can have that a little more straight though. Um, let's rug it up. No, not with the big boy. Although that big boy kind of looks nice there, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Or maybe it, do no, it doesn't. I don't know. Who knows? But these green ones, they, they're kind of going nice with the green underneath. You can just have them float over top. <laughs> there we go. And let's put that on a bit of a rakish angle. We don't want to look like the inn was perfectly designed. Okay, this isn't the a Fairmont whatever, five star something. I don't know nothing about no hotels. Okay, let me pull this back a little bit. Okay, there we go. So this is looking nice. This is our sort of loft area. I think it needs windows here. I think that's foolish. But there is another room coming in there, which I will show you if I have the money. Um... Rustic cupboard? No, that looks stupid. Uh, but what else do we want? We could have a bathtub. Um, I forget who left the comment. I don't have the comments open right now, but somebody was saying that... Uh, where, where was that bathtub? I put a bathtub somewhere, and now I can't remember. Where did that bathtub go that I put? Maybe I removed it already. Maybe I already dealt with the comment. Yeah, 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 because somebody didn't like that there was a bathtub... Uh, where they could just be seen. Oh, no, that's over at my staff lodge. That's why. Where is it? It's right here. Yeah, they don't like this bathtub. <laughs> well, what do you want from me? Okay, here. Here's what I'll do for um, whoever that was. I can't remember uh, at off the top of my head who said that. Um, but I, I hear you. All right? And I give you the bathtub by the window and the desk right here. And you know what? That actually it, you know what honestly it looks way better and um thank you for that comment and it's official you are definitely better at this game than i will ever be <laughs> that looks great i like this little staff room that worked out well okay let's go back over here to our lodge yes you're leaving the bed yes we can sell it okay good let's put this over here just get out of here for a second get out of here get out of here get out of here and you just go here. Okay. Okay. So we need to find new homes for... Let's just sell that. Who cares about that? Yes. Okay. So far, it's placeable, which is good news for us. So that's lovely. I got to be careful because I'm going to put stairs here and maybe they intersect. Blah, blah, blah. All kinds of fun stuff. So this goes here. Uh, bear skin. Let's see if that's still going to work. Would the bear go this way? Does the bear face the fire? Or would it face the room? <laughs> I think he's like roaring at the fire. You know, this is, it gives new meaning to the expression of roaring fire. Ooh, dad joke. I'm gonna be a great dad. But for that only reason, that, that only reason. <laughs> Can't talk today. All right. So we got the chairs, which kind of can't really go over the bear. So the bear is a decorative nightmare, but maybe the bear has also <laughs> All right, get this guy out of here. And let's see, is it, was it him or, oh no! Placing floor by accident, get out of here. Was it the bear or the man? It was the man, it was the bear, I mean. Can't really place anything around this bear skin rug. I think this bearskin, I love the bearskin rug, but maybe it should go in my uh, my secret tavern here. <laughs> and also, there was some discussion, oh no, no, come back. There was some discussion about this secret tavern uh, being a little too big. Um, 
as far as like the table layout. If we got rid of, uh, I lost the bear again. If we got rid of this table, that there will be only like like one we put one little table here or something, then it's it's way more exclusive. Um, I really, guys, I really want this to work. I really want this uh, this bear rug to work. But I just <laughs> I don't see it working unless I do. Yeah, just like how weird. Oh. Oh, I just, the footprints in this game are totally fine. I have no problems with the footprints in this game. It's great. It's fine that you can't put anything anywhere. That's fine with me. <laughs> ah, this bearskin rug does not allow anything to exist near it. We are going to find a home for that. Oh, interesting. I'm learning something here. The rugs are also having problems being placed. Wait, why? Why is this having a problem being placed? What's underneath it? This post again, maybe? Maybe this rug is too low in the grid or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe it sits too low? Let's investigate that with a bigger rug. This rug. Yeah, see this rug can fit there. This rug cannot. That rug can almost fit there. Maybe it's that actual rug that I bought. No, there's something in the way there. But it also could be the bearskin rug that's taking up the room here. So we're going to put this rug here. And the reason for that is because we can. And we want to move on and decorate the rest of our inn. Or our, our, our loft room, I guess. Ah, come over here. And just place for now. Great. Okay. So that's looking a little better. We could do some, like maybe some light banister work. I don't know if you've ever heard of banisters before, but they're my favorite thing in the world. And we could use them there to kind of pretty up or kind of create a separation of space. And let's just do another one chest situation here. And let's get this rug back under there. Thank you for fitting this time. And any other rugs? No, okay. And then we'll put another one of these rugs under here. That bearskin rug would have given me uh, probably my five-star rating, too, because it was very fancy. Oh, there. There it is. Okay, so that's looking meh. You know, it's fine. We're fine with it. And then maybe a painting over here. Painting. Find a nice landscape one, or maybe landscape. Do we have this one? It looks a little too big. That looks nice. And it's different than that one. And it goes over these two friends who now sleep under a nice piece of art. And now we've got ourselves a four and a half. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, we'll keep working on that. But at any rate, now look at that. I wish we could carry the brick up a little bit. Like, I wish it created chimneys. Um, but you can't have everything in life. You can't have everything you want. Okay, so this is looking really good. Uh, which one is it? Which one do we want? That one doesn't quite match the color. That one sort of does, I guess. So there we go. There's our the start of our loft. We just need to decorate the walls now, and then we've got our wonderful two-story, um, you know, lofty, uh, lofty bed situation. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we're just going to build the rest of the structure out here. And then I will tell you what that's going to be for the next episode. Okay, so truthfully, I stepped away for a second uh, to deal with a few things here. And now it is nighttime, of course. Um, but essentially, what was going on was uh, a whole bunch of... Um, infestations going on so i had to deal with all of that there were bugs everywhere starting to show up in places um all i did was i went to go and like order some new supplies and i just you know didn't think i would include that in the video and then i started looking around i was like all these bugs everywhere anyway here we are and here while i was dealing with that i noticed this situation so i don't know uh what the plan is here to stop this 
Um, I do know that I believe this has been fixed in one of the newer, uh, in one of the new updates, but like I'd have to abandon this whole save just to get the stairs fixed. So maybe in season three, uh, we'll, be, we'll be fixing that. And there will be a season three, by the way, because the pit, uh, which is the new Crossroads Inn DLC is coming out soon. <laughs> The other thing I had to do is I had to get rid of that bed. That was creating an obvious problem there. They couldn't get here, so I either have to like, I mean, I could move this bed on its side or something like this. Um, but even then, even still, I it's it's going to be pretty tough to get. I mean, and I, and again, like, how many beds do I need? Do I really need a bed right here? Apparently, it's a yes because I did it anyway. So we'll move this here like that. And we'll see if they can still get up and deal with that. There might, again, be some banister problems here. But let's deal with the banister problem down here since we're paused. And I think... Oh, I can't. Okay. I think what it is... I think what it is is customers coming... I don't know what they're doing. They're coming here to try to find this the bed on the second floor. Maybe it's cheaper up there or something. So I've got four customers here fused together. All stuck right there. Um, I think what's happening is they're coming around here and up and over trying to get at the stairs. Like a stair access must be here. I'm wondering, what if I do, what if I put, uh, where is it? This. What if I put a row of these, like one, two, three. Or just maybe one and two, like, yeah, just a few. Which then would mean pulling the beds forward, like, this much. Okay, can I get that in there? That's probably gonna be too tight. Uh, unless I do this here and move that forward a little bit. Oh, I can't put that closer. Ooh, that drives me nuts. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why. I assume there's, uh, like that, that seems like it's there. So like there's just no reason, there's just like a dead zone uh, that was created. Oh, oh. So I could put the I could put the crate in the fire basically. Let's leave that there for now. You know what? Let's just do this because like what if it's an ottoman type of thing? No, that looks dumb because like who why would you put a wooden crate right in front of the Okay, let me just put it there. <sighs> okay. Uh That hasn't gotten any better. That hasn't that's not enough room I don't think and I need even more room if I'm going to get this to work. There's a lot going on here that I need to fix. Um, but for now, just for my brain, because uh, I can't do anything else right now to this, let's just sell those stairs, get these people. <laughs> yeah, it's because they walk over. Put that back. They walk over it to get to the next thing. That's what's going on. All right. I think I can figure my way around this. I think I think something can happen. Let's move this in. Let's move this in even more. Now that is gonna create a problem, which means if I have to delete the stairs again, now I'm gonna have to move all these banisters out of the way. That's just the price we pay for good, quote unquote, design work. So put that in there. There, that even got a little bit nicer, so I like that. Now, can this spot still fit in that spot? Not really. Oh, I see a, a good spot. Move it, move it, right in front of the stairs. That's a bit annoying for people, I bet, but... And then the Olympic right there. Unless that's creating the problem. Let's see if somebody gets stuck. I just want to watch somebody get stuck. See, she knows what she's doing. I live to serve. Priscilla lives to serve. Well, Priscilla I'm also is going to get a bonus. You get a bonus and I you get praised. Because you used the stairs right. That's my bar right now. That's how low the bar has gotten. Okay, we need to decorate this place and probably light it up because this is getting sad right now. So let's put something in here and maybe another candelabra. I kind of like using just the... Um... Wait, where'd it go? That's weird. Because we're... Oh. Put it together with the other... Anyway. I like using this. I think it lights up the room in sort of like a cozy way. Like, this looks fun. This looks fun to sleep in if you're... If you're, if you're asking me that right there okay now what are we dealing with with this room what the, the loft 
the loft is already five stars? Okay, I'll take it, I guess. I mean, why not? I still want to decorate it a little bit. That's just ridiculous behavior. Oh, now we got two people sleeping there. Okay. I mean, I want to decorate it a little bit. Oh, wait, didn't I have a rule about this being a brick wall on the outside? Yeah, okay. This has got to be a brick wall here. All right. Because it's an exterior wall. That was my design rule for this one. Uh, now, oh yeah, this is the, the new room build I'm going to show you in a second. So actually, that's all exterior. Yeah, okay. I wonder if I could get some framing in there, maybe? No. I wish I could put a frame right there to make it look like the... Anyway, what are you going to do? We could make that all brick if we, if we wanted to. Okay, let's... I mean, that's maybe enough lighting. We've got some rugs. There's not a lot of room for much else. So let's take a look at some choice pieces. Let's even turn that off. I wanted to see what all my options are. Let's start at the bottom. Like, what about... What if a cat wants to sleep up here? That's adorable. You want a cat to hang out with you guys? All right, what else do you guys like? We're not doing statues in this area. We're not doing that. We're going to do... Um, something like more cozy feeling. So I'm thinking that's like paintings, obviously, even though we're, we're not too worried about trying to score any points here. Uh, how, which, have, which one haven't I used? Where's that big frame one? Yeah, see, like that looks rustic and beautiful. And also kind of like a ghost right now, so let's make sure that's in the wall. Oh, yeah. Let's put another, let's put a little table there or something. Maybe the desk? Maybe a couch? No, because why? who would sit there? Why would you just sit there? If you need me, I'll be sitting just at the top of the stairs. Being all kind of weird. Let's just put one of these, and let's put like a little chair next to it. Not, not in it, but next to it. One of these green ones, why not? Because, you know, obviously. Uh, maybe it needs a rug. That should be my channel's... When you start a video of mine, and it, instead of going like, bam, 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 theme song, it should just be like, put a rug under it. <laughs> Hi, it's solid content. <laughs> put a rug under it. All right, what else we got? What about something we've never placed before? Is that a, a fun idea? <laughs> like or, uh, some, uh, you know, some string, some string lanterns across the... I don't know what that, they also don't line up that nice. So let's sell those. But it was a bold idea, and that's what I'm all about. I'm all about some bold ideas. So I'm, I'm proud of myself for going there. Um, at the same time, I'm not allowing it. Maybe they got a little shelf over here. No, apparently not. Apparently they don't have a shelf there. Do they have a shelf here? Yes, they do. Come on. They have a shelf here. And it casts a shadow like that, and it's amazing, and we love it, and it's so cozy. That's a lot of light coming off those three candles for this person. That's like they're getting blasted with light. I wonder if there's a more cozy placement of this. You know what? There isn't. Look, honestly, they, we're going to have to have some light, okay? Two of these, and then another one in the corner. All right, maybe like a wagon wheel on the wall above here. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I love it. I'm not sure why. We've never placed it before, so that's part of it. There's something about that that I just love. And then uh, maybe some... Maybe I can control place them so they just really line up nicely with the ones below. There we are. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. You don't like moving too much. That's not a thing you like doing. There. I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing it for me. It's not like the craziest thing I've ever designed in my life. It doesn't look... It's not like blowing minds, but it's just really getting me in the right spot. I don't know why you need it to be... Oh, yeah, so if you... Hmm. I don't know what that's about, but it really throws things off when you're trying to do stuff. 
Ooh, that's going to drive me nuts for the rest of my life. <laughs> no. No! What's happening? You can... <laughs> Come back here. Okay, I see. There's like a little subtle... Yeah, see that? How it kind of put, changes its position slightly? So we just need to make sure they're both down. And same with this. It needs... To, it just needs to go down a bit. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so you turn them around. And then they ride a little lower on the wall. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, come on. <laughs> What's going on? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. There we go. Oh, yeah, that is smooth. That feels real good. Now, it's the fourth floor, so I could also put, like, a... I don't have to worry about stuff coming down. Yeah, see? Like, doesn't that just feel like it wants to be there? Do they go right up against the... No. <gasps> they kind of do. A little bit. It did for a second. Uh, you know what the thing is? That's going to stick through. The animation's going to stick right through. And while I don't necessarily hate that, because it would kind of create, like, a little gabling outside, you could just line up a hundred of them. Oh, I got to remember that for later. That's That could be incorporated into another design where you just stuff this like like that into the walls and then it creates a little, ooh, I do like that. That's a nice way to, like that would be perfect for right there. Now, if I remove the banister first, maybe I could get that done. Let me, let me. I mean, it's kind of working, right? Here's the thing, though. If it's not going to let the banister come back there, then there's... there's I'd prefer the banister. Wait. Oh, oh, there. Okay. Uh, let's keep the banister. Let's keep the banister, but let's remain... Let's remember what we learned here today. Let's remember that you can couch those in the wall. I don't know. Is that the term? Is that a word? Couching? Like, you can couch them? Does this person have a shelf right here? <laughs> That's weird. Why does he have a shelf there? Oh, we can put a shelf here, though. Kinda. But if we move this candle, candle over, over, and then we can put that there. Honestly, I'm keeping this now. I don't know. I just, it won me over. Maybe a shield over the top of here? No, because that looks dumb. What about this shield, though? That's kind of a rustic, rustic vibe. And then we'll just ugh, shove it in the wall and then shove this back against it. It's kind of stacking our supplies. I don't know, man. I don't know what... Uh, I, it really doesn't need to be there. It's a bit stupid that it's there, but oh boy, is it doing it for me. Can we get one like at the top of the stairs right here? Yes, we can. Say it with me. Yes, we can. Oh, it doesn't quite line up. It would need to be like there. Well, guess what? I don't care. I love how that looks. So let's get it playing here. Uh, play. All right, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds up here and being rented right away. Very good. A nice sort of seating area. Um, can somebody tell me what those books are called where you have like a cross section? I don't know if I've m mentioned this before, but that's one thing I'm loving with the look of this thing so far, is I'm loving just like the cross sections of of the lives going on in this in this tavern. Like, look at that! Wouldn't that be in one of those books where you can kind of like see all the all the cross sections of of a ship or something, or or like a castle? I loved those books. I'd really, I'd like another one of those books. This is great. There's my screenshot, maybe. That's a pretty, a very busy screenshot. <laughs> Let's bring those uh, walls back up. There we go. I'm liking what we're looking at here. I'm loving the look of this um, banister-laden uh, sleepy place. And I think it's popular. I'm thinking it's quite popular. Oh, we got this bed free. Yes. Pause it, just in case. Now let's, let's try to make our stair protection plan. I don't want to move the beds much more forward than that. 
Any more forward than that, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, so now let's go in here and see if we can't place these bad boys. Yes, we can, okay, good. So let's move this out here, move this over. Let's get some plants in here. I'm gonna have to like let the game go for a bit and update you guys if it, oh, excuse me. Get in your spot. There. I'm gonna have to update you guys and let you know if this is is gonna work um, and keep people from using the stairs or like approaching the stairs from that weird, bizarre angle. Ah, uh, come on, let me get it in. Let me place it. Let me place it there, come on. Um, and if it doesn't, I am a little concerned about it looking just like a tiny bit ugly. It doesn't look horrible. Let's just put, okay, What what is this room here? What are we dealing with? Play. It's a five-star room. Okay, so let's put just like a little jug there or something, you know? A little one. Where's one of the nicer, not the nicer ones, do you know what I mean? It doesn't give me a good room bonus, but I, I think they look nice because they kind of have a medieval-y, drab-y thing going on. Apparently they're not decorative. Oh, I should check. Maybe they hold something. Maybe they hold, like, milk. That looks like I would put milk in it if I was a medievalsman. I love this pot because its footprint is so tiny. What do we got? Nope, it's a jug. Oh, they're both... Oh, fragile. Okay, that's not bad. I don't care about fragile. Le chambre intermerchienne now is uh, perhaps uh, a bit complete. It feels good. I hope that gets a get some candles I've found that a lot of the time it's uh, it's my fault when I can't quite you know if people are getting stuck in a spot or something like that it's usually the way I've done things that is creating a problem oh oh my goodness I didn't know there was an activity to be done at that what is the activity what a nice table just look at it. everybody loves this table I didn't know that was gonna happen good lord what a surprise well there you have it uh, we've got our building, uh, this building done. But, oh, I almost forgot. Here, I'll show you. Uh, I, I, let's build it. At least we've got some money. So let's build this. I want the fanciest stairs you can muster. And, oh, they can place even over the... Huh. Go figure. All right. And, oh, no, wait. I did it wrong again. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I always forget that part. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here's what we're going to do. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I mean, I, it, if this gives you a hint, it's going to be a private room. And one, two, five, six. And it's only going to be that size. Okay. And now we need to, of course, finish off our walls, which this isn't a very exciting part because we know what it's going to be. Oops. <laughs> Wait, because we know what it's going to be. Yeah, that's nice. Let's have it kind of complete the uh, thing a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So we know what that's going to be. Uh, and here, I'll give you a further hint as to what this room is going to be because I'm going to put in... Uh, I'm going to put in these... <laughs> I'm going to put in these windows. No, let's put in some nice windows. I like these... I like those uh, no-name ones. in the center. I, I don't know. We're doing center placement now. I wish I could put one right in the middle there. What does that look like if I remove this one? Sure, let's do that. And let's get rid of that. Or do we go back with the center placement idea? Go back to the center placement idea. Remove. Remove. We might put a fireplace right there or something. But I'll tell you what this room is getting up to in a second. Once we place the stairs... It's it's not a great it's not a very large room, but again, this inn uh, has a lot of weird spaces in it. It's been a fun design, and it's really fun to make an inn that has just sort of like not just like a basic sort of standard flow, but more of like a fun, exciting kind of like maze atmosphere to it. So anyway, this is our building in its more or less final form, at least from the exterior. Oh, I gotta lower those. There. And then let's, like, bring out the gable a bit. This part here, the eaves or whatever. Look at that. 
See, now that looks a lot better than before when I would make a tavern that was just one big giant cube. Look at this thing, yeah. If I saw that, I'd be like, all right, I could, I'll stay there. I'll stay at the hair of the dog. In fact, let's go into, yeah. All right, so we have the tavern in its final form here. This is looking good here. Looking real good. We have the inn, the tavern in its final form. We're happy with it. Um, but what is that room going to be, you ask? Well, ladies and gents, it's a small one for sure. But this is now the beginnings of our Vegeta room. On the top floor, she stands. Or he. I think there's dude Vegetas now, which is dope. This space here is fairly unused, so that's not great. Um, I don't know if we have any gambling income yet. So I've done something wrong there. Somebody tell me what's wrong. Oh, I made 17 bucks. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a gambling pro. I don't need anybody's help or advice or tips. I know exactly how those work. And then this room is empty. This room needs to get done up. So in the next episode, we're going to make an adventurer's room. We're going to get one adventurer, which isn't great, I know. We need more. And then we're going to get a Vedita as well. Can't wait for that. Um, and of course, you got to go through the gamble room and then up this little hallway. Maybe we should put some, like a couch here or something, a little sitting area or something. Come on, Clubatter Games. Put some little flames on those. I'll never get over that. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video as much as I enjoyed making it. We've got a little bit more work to do. And then we've got this lovely finished uh, tavern structure here. But then I have one crazy last thing that I want to try that might totally mess up the save game. But all that is good because who cares? Once we're done, we're happy with it. I don't think we'll be able to go back to this one for the... Um, See, nobody's getting stuck on those stairs yet. I don't think we're gonna be able to go back to this one for the the DLC of the pit because again, this save game is old. People still get stuck in the stairs. Although now I think my theory has worked. I might even, even when it's when I play a save game where people use the stairs properly and don't get stuck, I'm still probably gonna do this little theory that I've had, this little idea of blocking the stairs. I'm still gonna do that because I like it. Man, I really like this in a lot actually. Maybe we could get rid of this and turn this into an adventurer room. What do you say? Vote down below if you want this to become an adventurer's room. We get another adventurer instead of, like, this look. I mean, it's a nice room, though. It's a nice one. And you know what? All of you are nice as well. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a great day. It's Friday when I posted this. I hope your Friday is good to wherever you are. And I hope to see you again in some of the live streams or some of the videos still to come. Thanks for watching.